Brian back here with a look at Bitcoin. All right, this blue line up here is the 618 Fib level. All right, Fibonacci level. If we go out in weekly, all right, I've been talking about this level for a very long time, the 618 to the 702. We wicked up there to about 49,000, and then uh, looks like a bunch of sellers stepped in here and knocked it back. Now let's zoom in here. All right, let's get this off here. Clean this up a little bit. There we go. All right, you can see we've regained that 46,800. I was really concerned with that, that we regain that. All right, now you can see down here, I'm going to show you here. Right down here, we got this big buy right there, 7,000 Bitcoin. And that shot that price right up to 49,000. Then this big red arrow right there had some sellers come in and step in there and knock it back a little bit. All right, but watching, keeping a very close eye on this thing to move up. Let's, I'll get through the RSIs here in a second. I want to go over this uh, liquidations and stuff with you guys. $331 million in liquidations over the last 24 hours. Uh, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index is up to a 76. Look at the open interest, 41, almost 42 billion. And the 24 hour volume, $256 billion, up 28% from yesterday. Liquidations are up 28.7% uh, from yesterday too. So uh, you can see the 24 hour long and short, uh, just about even really, 50% and 49.99. So very, very, uh, very, very tight there. All right. Um, uh, let's go over here to the uh, crypto bubbles. A lot of stuff looking good out there. Only one, uh, two red ones. 98 out of the top 100 are green. All right. So that is great to see. That a lot of stuff looking uh, popping nice out there in the market today. And one of the biggest reasons is Bitcoin dominance. And I'm going to show you guys here in a second. First off, I want to give a shout out to the members. Um, you guys keep this thing rolling so i can't thank you enough i really mean that every single one of you uh thank you thank you thank you all right uh we have 62 members now and um i just can't thank you enough over on the home page of uh crypto blocks on youtube uh you can see uh there's a banner on there with your names on it too i didn't realize that till the other day but uh um, Detroit Custom Painter, you're one of the biggest reasons I cover Bitcoin here, bud. Yeah, I mean, you, you're super supportive. You deserve uh, every bit of uh, uh, attention there for sure. So thank you so very, very much, guys. If you're interested in Level 3 memberships, $14.99, get you eight hours worth of videos, uh, trading videos to uh, give you a jump start on this, uh, on this market, which you need if... Uh, you know, this thing's going into a bull market. I want to show you Bitcoin dominance before I forget. Look at this. Just rolling right over. You know, I, I, uh, this thing is now we're expecting. This is the zone down here I'm watching. Right down here. All right. I have the fib already on here. Right down through here. 618 to that 786. It's probably going to get about somewhere in there. But if you look at it on a four hour, you can clearly see right here. One two three four you know as long as this doesn't go up uh, past that 53.57 it wouldn't violate that uh, wave one and then a fifth wave down here so that's what i'll be watching for on this thing looks pretty obvious so we'll see if uh that daily these rsis now you got your daily <coughs> rolling over here which totally makes sense uh that would give it that fifth wave down here but look at the weekly is reset bullish and the monthly is uh bearish an 84 and an 89 all right so that weekly uh could give it a little bit of push here after this daily corrects we'll see one i'd love to see that roll right over bitcoin dominance not bitcoin itself just the dominance that's what's making these altcoins run all right now let's take a look at bitcoin itself all right, it's back up into that 46,900 range. All right, let's open this chart up. On the daily, the RSI, let me get this off here. All right, the daily RSI is at a 80 and a 78. All right, very, very, very close to rolling over here. Now, you know, we had this this wedge breakout here of resistance. This was your, R, this is the RSI. All right, we had the wedge breakout here. Uh, you know, measured move. 
let me get a uh, get this exactly where I want it here so all right touch touch you know breakout area you know we'll see it looks like it looks like it has more gas in the tank here the RSI uh, we'll keep a close eye on that we got this daily at an 80 and a 79 very close to bearish got the weekly at a 76 and a 74 pushing back up all right and the monthly is at a 100 and a 96.9 okay now your smaller numbers you got your 12 71 and a 65 turn them back up eight hours is bullish 45 and a 43 you want this number the blue number bigger than your orange number means you're uh, bullish okay that's uh that's what you want you want your blue line on the outside here just like this right through here that that, that means you're bullish you got your blue line here flipped over let me show you see how the blue is on the, the outside that's where you want it for bullish movement okay uh, just a little tip there you got your four hour uh 40 and a 39 still bullish uh very very uh very very close here all right and then one hour uh just reset and at a 24 and an 18. now a <clears throat> excuse me a very a place that i would keep my eye on is this uh 702 fib level you know if i was looking at this chart right here i would want to see it break uh, forty-eight thousand sixty-two dollars. All right, um, I'm just uh, just want to be very very wary through here. Forty-eight thousand sixty-two. Okay, uh, that is pretty close. Without getting exact here, you know, call it forty-eight thousand one hundred. You want to see a break of that? You know, if not, you could possibly be getting a A B C in here. You know, um, that B leg would come down. Let me see. Let me get this exactly. You know, you would have a B leg down to if this came up to the 702 and corrected from there. You know, you'd have a correction back down. You'd have a big ABC down back down to 44,526. Now I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but I would definitely keep an eye on 48,000, uh, 100 bucks. You want to see it get above that? Okay, that's above the 702 level, and then I then I think this thing could go higher. But I would definitely keep a very very close eye on 48,000. You know, call it 48,100. You want to see a break of that level? You know, without getting exact in here, I can get exact. 49102. Let me put this exact. 49102. And we have this low down here on this candle of 45 555 45 555 there we go all right whoop 45 555 where did my numbers go here we uh Sorry about that. Let's try that again. 45, 5, 55. Be quicker this time. 55. Okay. And we got 49,000. 49,102. 49,102. I just want to get exact numbers for you guys. So I'm not. Uh, why does it keep doing that? All right. Let's just do it this way. It's 49,106. 45. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But. Uh, there's 558 all right so you want to see it break 48,100 bucks that would break the 702 that would mean it's going higher okay if it doesn't if it comes up here and gets rejected at this B leg then you're gonna have a C leg down all right all right thank you very very much guys I hope you have a fantastic day and I apologize about the uh, the uh, Fibonacci here. I don't know what the heck's going on with that thing. So I will be back to you guys very, very soon. But uh, right now, Bitcoin has regained that 40, uh, 46,800 level that we were looking for. 
and uh, we'll see, we, we want to see it keep that level for sure. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon.